Hello, this is Matt Landry. Welcome to another edition of Final Cut Pro Video Online Podcast, brought to you by Cambridge Community Television. In this episode, we will be continuing to work with the timeline and um, our video clips that we've imported from an iMovie tutorial. This video is essentially a very dirty dog that uh, gets a bath from some kids. So what we're going to do is continue looking at our clips in the browser. You'll notice that clip 01 I have already renamed to Dog in the Mud with Kids. Clip 2, Clip 3, Clip 4, Clip 5, and Clip 6 have not been renamed yet, so I'm going to do that right now. Clip 2 I'm going to call Kids with Tub because if I double click on that, and open it in the viewer, you'll notice that that is exactly what it is. Kids walking with a tin bathtub, a metal bathtub, and then they run off to get the dog. So clip three is soapy water. Clip four is bath time. Clip five. is dog leaves the tub and clip six is the kids spraying us with water. Continuing on our creation of a rough cut on the timeline, I'm going to play our timeline and we see our dog in the mud, zoom in, kids running up. Now I think we're ready to go into bath into uh, the kids with the tub. That seems to be the next progression here. So what I'm going to do is choose an endpoint and an outpoint, just like I have with the dog in the mud. Although this one, if I play it, I kind of like the whole clip. So I'm actually just going to. I'm going to go, I'll, except for that last frame, which is, is black. So I'm going to hit an O there for out. And I'm going to hit an in right about there. Now, of course, because I need to render this, I'm going to go ahead and render it. Now. What I can do, if I decide at some point that I don't like those in and out points, I can always double click on the clip from the timeline and open it again in the viewer. Once I bring a clip down to the timeline, that doesn't mean it's set in stone. I can move it around, or I can change its in points and out points. So again, by double clicking on the clip, I can open it in the viewer and modify its in point and out point. Now, keep in mind that. If the clip is abutted by two or more clips, you will not be able to change the in point and out point to make it larger, to make it longer. What that means is, because this clip is right next to this clip in time, I won't be able to change the in point of this clip. I can, I can change the in point by making it further in time, and you'll notice, you'll see what that does to that clip on the timeline. But there's only so far I can go because the clip is being obstructed by the preceding clip. So when I play this, we got the dog, kids, kids. <laughs> 